This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin at the way shrine's center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the arch curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Caves? Oh no! The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin, as if you've been enlightened. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Questions? I expected as much. We were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. In a manner of speaking, we had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground-dwelling dwarves, and when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin, certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. The Chantry is quite isolated, so it took some time for word of the Dwarves' offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the Dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assume that the Arch Curate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the inner sanctum. Werther and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. May Oriel watch over you. 